hi guys welcome back to house of hair uk today i'm just going to do a quick video showing you how i blend clients hair extensions now this lady her hair is cut quite blunt in a long bob and she wants to have hair extensions but not too much at the top because her hair is quite fine so we have to work on blending it so that the hair extensions look more natural here you can see i've already done the application I've installed 150 hair extensions and micro rings, so I'm just going to damp her hair so that I can blow dry her hair and the hair extensions together. I'm not blow drying her hair in any special way. I just want it to smooth out so that it matches the hair extensions more. And once it's smoothed out, you can identify where her natural hair is poking through the hair extensions. Here you can see that her line is not as visible but there's still a line there so what you want to do is go in with a razor comb and you want to razor in some of those hair extensions so it looks like she's got layers. Now that her hair's all been blow dried down, what we're gonna do is repeat that same step of razoring some of the hair extensions and giving her very soft layers. By wearing your hair slightly wavy, as this client has opted for, you can also disguise any of your natural hair that's poking out. After a while of washing and blow drying, her natural hair will start to blend with the hair extensions and you, they won't be seen as much. However, with that razor cutting technique, her hair's blending better with the hair extensions and it can't be seen.
This is another one of my ladies who wanted to have a full head of hair extensions but her hair is very fine at the top. So what you want to do to cover up all of the beads and the bonds, you want to tease your hair at the root and this way when the wind blows your hair won't go flying with it exposing all of your bonds.